Today I'm going to show you how you can use the free Chrome extension Productor to save a lot of time while uploading your designs to Merge by Amazon. So this is the web page where you add Productor to your browser. I'm going to leave the link to this down below in the description. You can see here as well the average reviews for the plugin are 4.9 out of 5, which just shows how good this really is for a free extension. I think that's really crazy. And if you scroll down, you can also find different instruction videos in English and German and a list of the features. There's like an endless amount of features. I probably don't even know half of them, but uh, I am going to share with you the ones that I use to sort of speed up the uploading process. So moving on to the upload screen, you can probably already tell it looks a bit different than usual. Productor adds quite a lot of fields and uh, tabs up here, for example, the dashboard and statistics tab. Um, it shows you a lot of in-depth analytics of, sort of what's selling for you and what's not. Then you get this extra bar up here, which has a lot of cool features. I'll talk about this template section later on because that's really, really good for saving time. The first thing I could show you is this section right here. So this is a cool quick way to change the design that we've already uploaded and for example add a texture so I'll just try mask one I'll take a second and then download your design again and as you can see right there it's added a texture onto our sunset and it's actually a really nice texture as well and here at the bottom we have some half tone masks they kind of work like textures as well and um, do look quite cool for that sort of retro design feel. So moving on, if you click select product right here, you've got some extra shortcut buttons to quickly select, for example, the American marketplace, the British marketplace, German one, uh, whichever ones you want to upload to, or if you just want to select uh, all of the tank tops, for example, then you can quickly do that with the shortcut buttons over here. And the same thing in reverse, you can deselect certain marketplaces or products all in one go um, to save you a lot of time there because it is really tedious clicking through this to select everything you want. And if you scroll down to where you edit your product, there's some cool shortcuts right here for applying color. Now, let's say for example, your design works really well on light colors. In that case, you can click this button right here and as you can see, product has selected all of the light colors that Merch by Amazon offers. The same goes for dark. You could also select all colors and then reverse, go from there which ones you don't like. You could copy the colors that are selected within this product and then paste them over to say the next one, the premium t-shirt. So I'll just quickly do that with these light colors, copy single product, go into the premium and hit paste and it's selected all the same colors as a standard t-shirt. The ultimate way to do that, which I use a lot, is this button right here, assign colors to all products. So let's say you found all your colors that um, work really well with the design to then apply them to all of the products that Merge by Amazon offers or the ones that you have selected. Click this button over here and you can watch it run through and do that job very quickly for you, which does save a lot of time as well. Coming back into here, you have a few more options that like resizing to hoodie, which you don't really need anymore because Merch by Amazon has just changed their uploader to automatically do that for you. But what's quite cool down here, you can quickly assign royalties to all of your products in one go. If you don't like the default Merch by Amazon royalties, you could, for example, say, I want to get $5 and then click assign royalties to product. Now you can see the example here for the standard t-shirt. Let's change that to 19.99 and the German one to 20.99 to just make sure you get uh, around about five dollars per sale and if you click assign royalties to all products over here it's going to do that for all of the products that you have enabled which is a really cool shortcut because yeah once again doing that all manually can be quite tedious and annoying there's some extra buttons here as well for where you add your description and title and my favorite ones are these trademark checks so let's say you've got your description ready and you just want to check it for the american trademark database you hit that button wait a little bit and it highlights in yellow which words in your listing have potential trademarks so this one for example is pending so it's probably not active right now um, this one is live as a text trademark so beach might be a word that you want to avoid and the way to actually change 
which classes of trademarks product to search us through. You can scroll up and hit go into settings, then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see this section and you could tick, for example, if you upload to pop sockets, you could tick this box and it's gonna check for trademarks in this class for pop sockets as well. I just have the uh, class 25 selected because that's the only one that I upload to. And when you're done with that, just to make sure to hit save. Another feature that's quite cool is this band word detector. Now, I purposely included the word texture in here because I know Merch by Amazon doesn't like that and would give you a rejection for it. There's quite a lot of other words such as swear words, for example. And if you accidentally put one of those words in your listing and it might not even be trademarked, you'll get a rejection, which is quite annoying. But uh, Producta warns, warns you of these words by highlighting them and then if you take this out, the red box disappears. If you know of any words that Producta doesn't know of, you can also add them. Once again, in the settings, you can scroll down and, for example, here in the English section, you could type in your own word, um, like textured, if it's not already in here. But you can see all the preset words here. And same goes for German, French, all the other marketplaces all have their own sort of banned words and Producta has pretty much most of them covered for you as far as I'm aware. Another thing you could do to save time is use the search and replace function. So if you had a word in your listing that you don't want in there or you wanted to change it about, you could go for example from vintage to retro and it's gonna go through if you click replace all and change those words accordingly. You've also got translate all options if you don't want to use the automatic product translation by Merch by Amazon. And now say you're done with your listing and you're happy with all your colors, you're happy with your royalties, then what's very vital is you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save as product draft. Now it's gonna take a little while and save all of the settings that you have provided. And once it's finished, you get a notification. And if you open a new tab and upload a new design to this, hit select template right here. It takes the title that you left in the listing at the bottom. Just select that and you get three options. One is to apply the template that you saved with all the images and text. So it's gonna copy over your old design as well as all the colors, prices, and the text at the bottom that you had previously. But you could also use this one, which just applies the text and the prices. It won't copy the same design. Or this one at the end, which I use most of the time, which is just the colors, prices. So let's do that, for example, and you can see what's happening. So, Product has now selected all of the products that we had previously. It's selecting all the same colors and prices all on autopilot. This does take about 20 seconds, half a minute sometimes, but it's obviously a lot quicker and easier than doing it all yourself. And there we go, that's done. And as we can see, if we go into here, I think it only had the standard t-shirt selected at the start. And now we have all of these selected with the the right colors and prices. So there we go, that was just some quick time-saving tips for uploading to Merch by Amazon. I hope this video helped you and will save you a lot of time in the future if you didn't know about Producta already. Now, if you want to know some more tips on how to save time, then I would recommend checking out this video where I show you how to batch recolor a lot of your designs all in one go using Adobe Photoshop.